Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to my Build a Binder video for this new set of Scarlet and Violet. I just got done opening up my first booster box of this set. It was a lot of fun and I definitely got hits from it. It's a whole new system as I'm sure you are very well aware of. The cards are all, they're looking different. We get hollows at least in every pack. We get the two reverses, but either way, it's a whole new set. We've got a whole new stack of cards to put into a binder and organize, and I'm very excited to do so with you all. So as you can see, I know, spoiler, but we have the cards, we have got the packs, we have just got stuff everywhere, and I want to organize it. So I definitely have my system where we're gonna get this all organized. We're gonna get this all cleaned up here I just separated so that you know I have my hits pile for when I'm filming and then this is all the extras this is all my commons uncommons reverses energies and uh, Code cards which have already been given away, but that is the only separation I have done so far So we've got to do better than this. We've got to get things into sleeves. We've got to get things organized so to begin to do so we've got to go ahead and go through this big bulky stack of cards we got to go through all of this we've got to separate it we've got to get it into the reverse cards we've got to get it into the hollows and then from there we're also going to separate into card types we're going to separate into grass Pokemon we're going to separate into water Pokemon fire Pokemon let's go let's do this and and we're just gonna go down the line of energy types <laughs> and separate all of those Pokemon out. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna choose which cards we think are the best centered, which ones we like the best. We've got a lot of organizing to do, like I said, but the main thing here that I need to do right away <laughs> is to sleeve up these cards once I get them organized into the shiny cards and not shiny cards piles. Yes, this is very important to do. And once we do that, I do have a system of which ones get which sleeves, as many of you all know. If it's something like a reverse card, a reverse hollow, if it's something like a hollow, those things, they get the quote unquote penny sleeve. I put them in the perfect fit sleeves. They are my favorite fit sleeves. I get them off of Amazon. They're from Japan and they're wonderful. I love how snug they are on my cards. Some people don't like that. They like it to be looser. I personally don't. So it's all up to you. But for me, I love those perfect fit sleeves and I use them, like I said, for my reverse hollows. I use them for my hollows and I use them for duplicate cards that are above the hollow rarity. So let's say I somehow got two of the same gold card. You know, I'll put one of the gold cards in a nice sleeve, just a thicker sleeve, and then the duplicate will just go in the perfect fit sleeve. Um, why do I do this? I don't know, but I do. <laughs> And uh, like I said, anything above a hollow will get the nicer sleeve, if you will. So it's just got the thicker back. It's meant, I mean, you could use either of the sleeves for your playing cards if you're actually going to be playing with them. But you know, a lot of people will sleeve up their cards so they've got the, I actually think you might have to do it for like tournaments and stuff where you can't see the back of the card, you know, to give anything away or I don't actually know how it works. I'm, I'm talking out my butt here to be completely honest, but uh, you know, the sleeves that that have some kind of a print on it or what I use black background cards because I think that looks nice and neat in my binder where I'm gonna have the black background to it it just looks nice and sleek and neat I like it and so those cards get that so any of the art rare cards gold cards full art cards EX cards those go in there and then just the regular not shiny cards like I said they just stay as is and I pick my three favorite of those and those will be going into the binder as you can see here here, I also organize based on the number of the card. I just do it how Pokemon has it laid out. They number the cards so it's a sequential order. 
I follow that because it makes sense to me and it looks nice and neat in the binder. So I just go through and do it, uh, you know, I did the reverses first and then the hollows and then I just go through each of the types that I already separated out. So like right here I'm going through the trainer cards. I just find it easier instead of doing them all at once, just do it separated by the card types. It's a little less overwhelming that way and I don't know, I hold them in my hand and and I just slide them in wherever the number tells me to slide them in. You just find the number on the bottom portion of the card next to the set name. This arguably takes the longest and it is my least favorite part of the organizing. However, it must be done and we will get it done. <laughs> for organization, at least off the top of my head, that's about all I can think of. So we go through that process, we do that, we do all of that organizing, and then we get into the binder, putting together the binder. So like I said, the first part is just protecting the cards and organizing the cards, and then, then we get to do the binder. So off to binder, Cassie. She'll let you know what goes on in the next part. Alrighty, my friends, here we go. It is, as you may or may not be able to tell by my nails, many, many days later, actually, I think it's at least like a week or two later, I have been so busy. I have not had a chance to do this on camera and it has been, well, it's been making me very sad, <laughs> but I do have everything all organized here. I just had to put these away so that my cat with Pika does not eat them, but I got everything all organized. Let's see if I can do this nicely. Oh, what a big stack. Okay, let's see. This will be easier if we separate out the reverses. Okay, oof. This will work. We got this. We can do this. <laughs> But here we go. I've got my binder. I went with violet, the color violet, even though this is more of a pretty standard purple. <laughs> I just went with this instead of red because I played violet and I was hoping by now the stickers would have come in. I bought some stickers off of Etsy to put on the front of the starters and whatnot by an artist that I really like on Etsy, but they live, I think, somewhere in Europe, so shipping takes forever. But that being said, we have our binder. It's from Alter Pro. They make my favorite binders. I love them. We've got the black backing. And basically what we are about to do, we are about to put all of the cards into the binder. I mean, it's it's really that straightforward here. I've got my sticky notes. I just buy these at Target. We'll be using those for the cards that I'm missing. A pen. I love these Sharpie S gel pens. They're very nice. And yeah, we're just going to be doing this the good old fashioned way. You could use one of these player's guides if you get the ETBs. I went ahead and chose the scarlet one since I chose the purple binder. Now we can have scarlet and but th these things don't actually matter you guys <laughs> but something about my brain wants it to matter okay but let's see so that you could just use this as your guide and go through one by one you could check them off in here all of that I just like to keep one of these in here for later for once I'm done with my binder but these are still very helpful otherwise I am going to go ahead and use Pocollect or Pocollector, Pocollector, you know, just uh, whatever. It's actually called Pocollector. <laughs> I guess I just call it Pocollect, but it's a great site online. It's free. This is not sponsored. I just actually use them to keep track of my cards. And you can see they do have quite a few ads on here. It is annoying, but I guess that's one of the things that keeps it free. But you can see they've got all the sets, past and present, English or Japanese, whatever it is that you collect. We are going into Scarlet and Violet though, which you can see I have not started doing this yet, 
but you can see which set this is, a little blurb about it, how many cards are in the set, and when it was released, and then you have the actual cards down here, which you can check off in the order that Pokemon has set them out for us. And yeah, it's really literally that simple, you guys. I just go in and number by number, I picked my three if I had them, or you know, in this case, I just had a couple of pine cos, but pine co, which you can hopefully see on the bottom, is number one in the set out of 198. So we are putting this in the first slot. Ta-da! We have also got Heracross, which is number two. So in you go in the second slot. Shroomish in number three, the third slot. We have got Breloom, number four. It usually will go in evolutionary order unless all of a sudden they make a type change. But, sorry, have you been able to see any of this? I'm the worst? Yeah, sometimes. Never said I was the greatest video maker in the world. Let's be clear about that. But yeah, then we keep going. Cacnea. I can't believe I only got one of those adorable cards. So cute. Cacturn number six. We'll go ahead and slide it in. Am I going to have this whole first page? Seven for Tropius. That's actually pretty rare that there's not at least one hollow on here. But wow, yeah, okay. So we I actually don't know that that has ever happened. There's almost always a hollow on here, and I'm almost always missing it. But then, Spupa, in you go. So we didn't need any of our sticky notes, but we will be able to check off on here. That that we have the first nine cards and Pokelector is not perfect. I will let you know this every now and then I will go back in and it will have unchecked, oopsies, some of the cards that I have checked off that I do have. So just be wary of that, but overall I find it very helpful. But there we go, the first nine. So we can go ahead and flip our page, go into the next nine here. We got a couple of Villians, which is number 10. So in you slide. Skiddo is number 11. We have got Go Goat as number 12. Going into Sprigatito, the cutie patootie, my starter Pokemon. And in you go, number 13. Number 14 is Florigato. So in you go. And I did get the hollow Meowscarada, which I guess isn't that big of a feat <laughs> now that we're getting hollows at least in every pack. But that used to be a bit harder to do when building a binder. But I literally just go through and go by the number on here. I just don't do anything complicated. So I'm going to go ahead and do this until I come across something that I don't have. Okay, here we go. So Tarantula, we have got number 16 and 17, but then we don't have number 18, which I'm going to guess is some form of a Spy Dops. Also number 19 and 20. I'm not sure. No, number 18 is another Tarantula. Wow. They came out with three cards. That's kind of incredible. Okay, well, we will move on to the next page and we will also remember that we need to make a sticky note. For number 18, 19, and then 20 is next. We have one of the small live artworks. Very cute. Number 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. But let's go ahead and check off on Poke Collector what we've got here. And then we can also see what we're missing. So we got these cards, we got Biascarada, we got two of the Tarantulas, but then we are missing the Spy Dops as well. So we're just gonna keep on, keep it on with the check marking, da, 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 get rid of an ad, and we're almost there, boop. Okay, but now we have the cards that we're missing. So this is when I go in with a sticky note here. The color does not matter. I just use whatever is available to me. <laughs> so I do like to kind of, if I can, keep the sticky notes to one color per binder. So I'm, I know that's 
you don't have to do that, you guys. <laughs> but so, because we don't have too many of these lilac ones on top, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those, and, or I shouldn't say get rid of those, but I'm gonna put them to the side so that the next time I use those colors, I'll have another, I've got another couple of blocks of these, I can add those together. So, we're gonna go ahead and just use these bright pink ones and hope that this should be plenty for this binder, but we can go ahead and write out which card we are missing. So it was Tarantula, and that is number 18. And I like to write down the number as well as the Pokemon in cases like where there are multiple artworks of it. So what if I was missing Tarantula number 17 and 18? You know, at least then it's a little quicker. I don't have to look at the card. No, it just, I don't know. I like putting the number on there is what I'm trying to say. And then we have also got Spidops EX. So we will go ahead. Okay, this pen is new. It's taken a minute here, but we will get it to work. Spidops EX, this is number 19. And then I just continue with this, you guys, throughout the whole binder. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the speed through to the next page. Here we go. Fufta, we did it. We made it through all of the pages. We'll take a look in just a second here. I also, when it comes to a new set, since they do change the energy cards, uh, sorry if it's a little louder with the outside noises, it's just a little warm in here, but since they do change the energy cards, I do like to keep a fresh set of the energy cards with the new set. I know you might think I'm weird, but that's okay. We all like to collect what we like to collect. So next things next, we've got these extra pages and we have got our reverse holographic cards, which my God, uh, <laughs> I'm not used to having this many after just opening up one booster box since we do get two of them in a set now or in a pack now but to do this all you really have to be cognizant of is the fact that there are cards 
like the EX cards that will not have a reverse holographic card. So you can go through this like normal, like we did in the beginning, if you're doing it just like me, where you just do it by number. So we're able to start off with number one, Pineco here, slide this in. We have got number two, Heracross. We do not have Shroomish, but we do have Breloom. Number five, nope, number four, <laughs> I can count. Uh, number five is Cacnea, I was getting ahead of my Myself. and then number six is Cacturn, seven and eight are missing. I do have number nine Spupa though, so we will go ahead and slide that in. I just remembered that there was no EX before Spide Ops, so that's why da, 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 da. I knew I wouldn't need the, the. Okay, anywho, uh, at this point, I'm sick of doing sticky notes. This is how it always goes, so I never sticky note these, um, and it's part of the reason why I keep the player's guide in my binder is just so I can quickly look through it there if I need to. But number nine, and then we can go on. We have number 12 next, so 10, 11, 12. We will go ahead and put Go Goat in there. We have got Sprigatito, number 13, and then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 for Tarantula. This is so strange being able to fill up as many. I love it. But then, like I said, we just have to be cognizant that number 19 is spide ops we would usually leave a space here for it since i don't have it but uh that won't exist in reverses so we just here's number 18 and then we skip over 19 and we go 20 21 and then 22 is going to be dollive so just be mindful of that and we can start putting in reverses see how many we got even slightly bigger sets like this, almost 200 slash 200 plus cards. Although I suppose once we get to that, but either way, we need extra pages. <laughs> These binders don't come with enough pages to fit the full set plus the reverses. So I've just got these ones from BCW that work great. They look just the same. So I go ahead and use these, uh, but let's see. We ended off here with number 97 and then we can go into number 98 and continue on. And it looks like I need to buy more loose pages. <laughs> We weren't able to fit these in, however, at least now you can see what it looks like, what you get typically, or about what you can expect from a booster box of Pokemon cards nowadays. Here is a random Scarlet and Violet booster box, all bindered up. We have got a lot to go still, but with the hollows in almost every pack, it's not as sparse looking, I guess, which honestly I don't hate, but at the same time, it's, it's, a, it's a mixed bag. Sorry, are we not? We're not very, oh my gosh, everything is going everywhere. <laughs> But either way, you can at least see what the binder looks like here, what you can expect to be missing. You can see you don't get all of the EX cards especially, but the fact that now we're able to fill up whole pages or whole double page spreads out of just one booster box, it's kind of cool, you know, it's kind of nice. But here we go, here it is. We are still missing some. This is where things always get rough is in the uh, art gallery, whatever they're gonna be calling them now, cards. And then also once we get into the full arts here, you know, that's definitely what you're gonna be missing the most of when you open a booster box. So then now we can also see we're getting a lot more reverses. This will fill up much more quickly, I'm assuming. But yeah, this is this is what it looks like, you guys. Here is my binder. I have also got all of my hollows and reverses and special cards from when I opened up my ETBs, did my ETB battle. So quite a few more packs were opened. Promo cards, of course. 
will be going in my promo binder, but I figure I can at least show you the fun of adding in some new cards and why I do the sticky notes, why I find it so fun and everything. Um, I should look. I'm sure I get, I, eventually I'll get that other, I guess I didn't realize I was missing a common card, but let's see. Uh, Arbeliva. I don't know if that's how you actually pronounce it, but we got lots of you. Now you can have a buddy. I like to do two of the hollows. My god, look at the excess. <laughs> excess olive trees. You'll go into bulk, but then we can do the Arcanine EX. Very exciting. Got that one. We can slide that in, and then we can take off the sticky note. So it feels super fulfilling to be able to rip that off. The sticky notes don't leave any residue or anything, so I find that it's a good way to keep track of things personally. You can always do what you want to do, but that is what I like to do. So I'm just going to go through and add in anywhere. I got another hollow to add to things. And yeah, I think that's really about all I can tell you. Let me go through and add all of this stuff and I'll be right back. Once again, we have run out, so we will have to collate these. And ta-da! So these will go into a page, sleeve, sleeve page eventually, but for now, this is what we have for my binder. The reverses are certainly filling up much quicker this way, which honestly, I'm not mad about. But yeah, this is really what you can expect from opening lots of packs of Pokemon cards, basically. <laughs> so here's the binder. We're just giving you a little flip through from the back. I hope this was helpful. There are many ways to do a binder, you guys. Mine is not the end all be all. This is just how I have found making a binder to be the most fun, the most fulfilling. You can always certainly leave me your tips and tricks down below for either filling up your binder. I mean, my biggest tip would be to buy singles rather than risk your luck on packs. But here are my tips and tricks for at least assembling and organizing things. I just do it by Pokemon system that they literally put directly on the cards. So there is my binder. I cannot wait to fill it more and also to put my stickers on the front. Yay! And yeah, there you guys have it! That was my build my binder video for this set, this new set of Scarlet and Violet, Scarlet and Violet base set. I just, I am so excited about the new cards, the changes they've made. You know, they might not all be awesome changes to me, but it's still exciting to see the changes, see where Pokemon is taking the cards and everything, and jazz up the binders a little bit, you know? It's gonna look different for sure. But for now, that is what my binder looks like after opening one box of Scarlet and Violet. Well, I probably also added a little bit more so you guys could see the sticky note process and everything better, which I like to show. But yeah, that's what my binder looks like at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and seeing how I organize everything and go through everything with my cards. It's a long process, but I actually do love doing it. <laughs> it can get a little tedious at times, but like I just love the final result so much and it is, it's very calming, it's very relaxing for me to put this all together. So I personally love it. I hope you just enjoyed it. organizing with me and seeing how I do it. You can also let me know down in the comments below, A, if you just enjoyed the video, B, what do you think of my organizing, and C, how do you organize your cards? I would love to, you know, see if there's a way I want to change how I do things. I think right now it's at a good place the way I organize things, but hey, there could always be better ideas out there. So you can let me know if there's a way that you do things differently differently if you would like to share that with me and everyone else in the comments below. You can also just let me know how you're doing, whatever you want. Do you have a new favorite Pokemon from this generation? Let me know all of the things down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful somehow, whatever the case may be by giving it a thumbs up. 
down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to see you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well. Until then, bye.